lot is in store right now for the future of Marvel Studios. 2023 is almost over. However, we had a lot of super intriguing rumors and reports happen this year that tell us about the future of the MCU. And in today's video, we are going to go over the big ones that we heard that will really affect the future of the MCU. However, important disclaimer, the firing of Jonathan Majors as Kang the Conqueror in the MCU did change some of the plans that Marvel Studios had for the MCU moving forward, of course. And we've talked about this in depth on the channel in several videos. We won't dive too deep into it today, but basically what you need to know is that Kang isn't done. Many insiders have reported that Kang is still going to be a villain of the multiverse saga. However, of course, they're going to recast Kang the Conqueror, and we probably won't see much of Kang until Avengers Secret Wars or right before Avengers Secret Wars. According to several insiders, that is the plan. And we talked about this yesterday, but a big plan that Marvel Studios has now since Kang the Conqueror is going to be kind of swept under the rug for the meantime is to bring in the X-Men sooner than expected. We went into great detail about this in yesterday's video. Check that out after if you want. But essentially, the gist of Marvel Studios' plans for the X-Men is to bring them in sooner than they expected to. They didn't really plan to introduce any new X-Men characters till Phase 7 of the MCU after the Multiverse Saga. But since Kang is going to be kind of put on the sidelines for a while, they need something to really get fans excited. And the X-Men seem to be the perfect solution for that, according to several insiders, including Daniel RPK. Right now, Marvel Studios is discussing multiple plans for multiple X-Men projects for new mutants in the MCU. Not just old returning X-Men like Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, Holly Berry Storm, Patrick Stewart's Professor Xavier. We do know that those characters are returning, but we are talking about new X-Men in the MCU, so that is super exciting. Also, a little note about this insider, My Time to Shine Hello, states that no young X-Men are going to return, so no James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender. Basically, that X-Men first class team, we shouldn't expect to really see any of them. Which if you think about it, it makes sense because this is a part of Kevin Feige's plan to sort of say goodbye to the original Fox X-Men characters because he worked with those people and his very first project professionally was the X-Men film in 2000. So it would make sense that he would bring back those original characters from that original trilogy to the MCU since he's the one who worked with them. So don't expect to see many characters, if any, of the X-Men first class show up in the MCU. Now, another big team that is coming to the MCU very soon is the Fantastic Four. Now, the film was supposed to begin filming in January of 2024, so a few days from now, which means we should have had an official casting announcement within the next few days. However, unfortunately, according to Daniel RPK, the Fantastic Four is not going to begin filming until May of 2024. That means we might not get the official casting announcement from Marvel Studios for a pretty long time now, a few months at least. But the last that we've heard Pedro Pascal is officially our Mr. Fantastic, and it does seem like Vanessa Kirby is locked in to play Sue Storm. The Thing and the Human Torch reports have all seemed to be kind of speculative, and we don't have anything solid for them yet, so those character castings are still a mystery. The most sure thing that we have heard so far, though, since it's been reported by many outlets and many insiders, is that Pedro Pascal is Mr. Fantastic. And another report we've heard is that if Doom is in the Fantastic Four movie. He is not going to be a main character or even kind of a side character, but it will be for a quick cameo if he shows up at all. Now, according to the insider My Time to Shine Hello and other insiders as well, the villain of the Fantastic Four movie is going to be a female Herald and Galactus, with the speculation being that this female Herald is going to be Juno, the female version of the Silver Surfer, and of course the imminent threat of Galactus coming. One rumor about the ending is that the Fantastic Four will actually lose and their universe will get destroyed, but right before, they get saved by the TVA. Then they become a part of the multiverse Avengers team. And ultimately, after the soft reboot, would end up in the main MCU universe, whatever that's going to be after Secret Wars. Now, moving forward with the Avengers films, we have heard from the insider, My Time to Shine Hello, that Tom Holland's Spider-Man is going to be the main focus of the future Avengers films. So that's Avengers 5, which was previously King Dynasty, and of course Avengers Secret Wars, which could be a two-part movie. So if there are three Avengers films, Tom Holland is supposed to be the star of all of those. And of course, 
if there are two, the same thing. According to insider Daniel RPK, Marvel Studios basically knows that Spider-Man is one of the most popular superheroes in the world, if not the most popular superhero, so they really want to focus on him for the next Avengers films. And the future of the MCU, might I add. Expect to see a lot of Spider-Man in the future. And according to my time to shine hello, Miles Morales is going to be introduced in the next few Spider-Man films with Tom Holland. So in Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4, 5, or 6, expect to see Miles Morales show up. And Sony also did confirm that they are working on a Spider-Man Miles Morales movie. It's unclear if they were talking about the MCU or their own Sony Spider-Verse, but either way, Miles Morales is coming to the MCU. Now, since Marvel Studios revealed that Secret Wars was indeed going to be the final movie in the multiverse saga and the fact that we are in the multiverse saga, many people have talked about Robert Downey Jr. returning, Scarlett Johansson, Chris Evans, and many more. And from what we've heard by many insiders, this is true. However, they are not going to undo anything that these characters have done in the past, meaning they are not resurrecting any of these characters, they are simply going to bring in variants of these characters played by the same actor. So we'll see a variant of Iron Man played by Robert Downey Jr., a variant of Black Widow played by Scarlett Johansson, and a variant of Captain America played by Chris Evans, and I hope we also see Chris Evans play the Human Torch as well. But we did learn something really fascinating about Iron Man, Black Widow, and Captain America. According to My Time to Shine Hello, they are going to bring these characters back after the soft reboot. However, they will not be played by Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, and Scarlett Johansson. They are going to recast the characters, and they will essentially be new characters in this new universe that is going to be established after the reboot. They are reportedly doing this so these amazing characters that we have come to know and love over the years can now interact with the X-Men and the Fantastic Four, although they will be different actors playing the characters. Now, on top of this, we've also gotten many reports about new characters or new projects about old characters happening in the MCU, like a World War Hulk project. Many insiders, including Alex Perez, My Time to Shine Hello, Can We Get Some Toast, Daniel RPK, have all reported about a World War Hulk project at some point, or a solo Hulk project. According to the reports, Marvel Studios does indeed have the rights back to do a solo Hulk project, and they plan to do that, and one thing they plan to do for a World War Hulk storyline isn't exactly what they have done in the comics. In fact, it's going to be very different with some insiders stating that it's a World War Hulks movie. So basically what we know is that Marvel Studios is going to begin introducing more Hulks into the MCU, Red Hulk being one of them, She-Hulk obviously, Hulk has his son, Scar, and they're going to be more thanks to the Super Soldier project that Thunderbolt Ross has still been trying to make work. So essentially it looks like we're going to have a battle between good Hulks and Bad Hulks in a solo Hulk project. Alex Perez from the Cosmic Circus has also stated that the Midnight Suns are going to begin to come to the MCU, and Marvel Studios is developing a project around them, and projects that will continue to explore this darker corner of the MCU and introduce members of the Midnight Suns are Blade, Ironheart, Marvel Zombies, Moon Knight Season 2, the continuation of Werewolf by Night, and some other unannounced projects as well. Now, there was talk of a Ghost Rider special presentation at one point in time. Now, we know Marvel Studios is kind of changing the way they do Disney Plus shows from here on out, but hopefully Marvel Studios still has a plan for Ghost Rider. Nova is also apparently still coming to the MCU. According to My Time to Shine Hello, they just simply do not know when yet. And speaking of Moon Knight Season 2, it has been said that Moon Knight Season 2 and Miss Marvel Season 2 are being talked about right now at Marvel Studios. This is coming from Daniel RPK. And according to My Time to Shine Hello, a She-Hulk Season 2 is also in discussion right now at Marvel Studios as well. And one of the biggest reports that we've gotten recently from multiple insiders is that the Beyonder Kang is going to be the main villain of Avengers Secret Wars. According to multiple reports, it does seem like there is going to be a Kang variant that is also the Beyonder. From what we know, he's going to come in and essentially defeat the Council of Kangs, and then from there, the Avengers will try to defeat the Kang Beyonder variant. According to Alex Perez, this will be possible because although the Beyonder Kang variant will be stronger than the Council of Kangs, he will have a greater weakness to exploit. And we've talked about this a lot, but this is really like Avengers Secret Wars in the comics, where Doom takes the power of the Beyonder, and that's sort of how they defeat him. But of course, I think the biggest news that we've heard over this year is simply the return of many beloved characters that we've seen throughout the course of Marvel history, not just the MCU, but Marvel overall. We already have Hugh Jackman returning as Wolverine. That is a crazy big win for the fandom. According to multiple insiders, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man is indeed 
going to be returning in Secret Wars as well and will fight alongside Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, along with many other heroes returning, like the original X-Men and Robert Downey Jr., Scarlett Johansson, Chris Evans, as their variants fighting alongside these legacy heroes as well. I think as Marvel fans, that is just going to be one of the most amazing things that we could possibly see ever happen on screen. And I can't wait to see it. A lot of these reports have me super excited for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I hope they have you excited as well. But let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video, and if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win a PS5, an Xbox Series X, some Marvel Legends items, and some DC items as well. We pick a winner at the end of each month, and the winner picks one item only a few days left in this month. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.